A rose is a rose is a rose. Or is it? When is a cigarette not a cigarette? Maybe when it's an e-cigarette. Well, what are e-cigarettes? E-cigarettes look very much like regular cigarettes, but rather than burning tobacco to create the smoke that has the nicotine, these use small batteries and liquid chambers uh, that vaporize, and this carries the nicotine. We all know that nicotine is one of the most addictive substances that uh, we know of. Users of e-cigarettes call this vaping, and the liquids are called e-juice or e-liquid. These uh, liquids don't taste like harsh tobacco smoke. In fact, uh, they often mimic the sweet taste of various flavors of candy. And therein lies perhaps some of the uh, danger behind these. There are over 250 brands of e-cigarettes that are sold in the United States right now. There is uh, no, no regulation of what's in these e-cigarette uh, or e-liquids, uh, or even what the content of the nicotine is for any of these. So we really don't know what you're, we're getting when we order these things. Over 4 million people in the United States have used e-cigarettes. 4 million people. The largest demographic that's shown an increase is in young people. In fact, in the past year alone, the number of young people who have used these has actually doubled. That's right, it's doubled in just one year. There has been an argument to suggest that the use of e-cigarettes might help people who smoke regular cigarettes quit. However, one study that was done looking at this in particular showed that e-cigarettes were not as effective uh, at, at all in helping people uh, quit smoking. In fact, people who try to use e-cigarettes were just as unlikely to succeed as uh, using other methods. Additionally, because the flavors mimic candies, there's some concern that this may be a gateway towards uh, the use of regular cigarettes for young people or other substances. So I think that an e-cigarette might be a cigarette, which might be an e-cigarette, which might be a cigarette.